Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I am a San Diego-based criminal attorney, and I'm also the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro in San Diego. My firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. Many times people, when they have an interaction with law enforcement, uh, certainly if they get arrested, there's always a possibility that they're gonna get charged with resisting arrest as well, especially people on one end of the spectrum who've never really been in trouble before and don't understand why they're being arrested, why they're being told to put their hands behind their back, why they're being treated in their own words like a criminal. And that usually leads to an unfortunate encounter with law enforcement where, you know, a prosecutor will look at the case and say, okay, not only are we gonna charge you with a DUI, not only are we gonna charge you with domestic violence or, you know, hit and run or whatever the case may be, we're now gonna add this resisting arrest charge. And you're like, wait a minute, I didn't resist arrest. What are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't fight the cop. Well, resisting arrest under the law, under Penal Code Section 148, encompasses a lot more than just putting your hands on law enforcement. You never wanna do that for a number of reasons, not the least of which you can be charged with something even more serious, which is a Penal Code Section 69, which could be a felony charge. But going back to resisting arrest, it could be if you put your hands on, on the cops, it could also be if you are delaying the an otherwise lawful order, if you're not complying with the lawful order, or if you're delaying the, the officer from doing his or her job. So we see that a lot of times too, where hey, put your hands behind your back. No, put your hands behind your back. No, put your hands behind your back. Why? And that could be, I mean, it's pretty weak, but it could be charged as resisting arrest. Also see situations where people try and just leave a situation. You know, when they're told not to, they get up and try and get in their car and leave. Or they're being lawfully detained and they try and leave, just get up and bounce. Well, I mean, that could be resisting or delaying arrest as well. And it doesn't always have to be with cops. I had a case where it was a, a parking enforcement officer and my client had an interaction. There was some miscommunication. My client got in his car, went to leave. And the argument was, was that based on what my client was doing, leaving when he was told to stay, that that was actually delaying the, the lawful duty of the traffic enforcement officer. So it encompasses far more than cops. Bottom line is, when you find yourself in these situations, if you're being under investigation, if you're being charged certainly with resisting arrest, delaying arrest of a police officer or any law enforcement official, you know, you wanna go out there and you wanna do your research and consult with, if not hire, a quality, locally experienced criminal defense law firm with the resources needed to defend against this case to protect your freedom, to protect your job, to protect your reputation. Because resisting arrest charges, even though they might only be misdemeanors in 95 out of 96, 97 cases, they will stay with you for a while and you'll notice a difference the way law enforcement treats you if they know you have a resisting arrest charge, certainly a, a resisting arrest conviction. Do what you can to try and prevent that. Reach out to a firm like ours, give us a call at 619-295-3555.